guys and welcome back to another episode of stretching your middle splits with me um, we're out here at the beautiful Miami Beach at, in South Point and we are gonna focus just on the legs I super recommend that you do this three times instead of just one the more warm you are the better I'm out here sweating in the Sun which actually really helps my flexibility a lot so I super recommend that you do that too and let's get started So we're gonna start on our back and we're just gonna start by bringing our knee into our chest. We're gonna switch and do both sides and just switch back and forth and just focus on pulling it in and warming up those muscles. Then we're gonna bring our knee across our body and reach the other way. We wanna focus on keeping our shoulders still on the ground. We can then open it up and then switch to the other side. Next, we're going to pull that knee back into the chest and then flex and bend it in. We're then going to straighten it out. We wanna focus on keeping the knee in the same place. And after that, we're going to do some resistance stretching and we're gonna push against our hands and then pull it back in. Then pull it back into our chest after. So we're gonna go ahead and do that three times. Knee, straightening, resistance, straightening again. We want to make sure we're working on that active flexibility with our back leg by engaging our quads and our glutes and our knees and keeping that back leg straight and pushing towards the ground. This is really going to help our active flexibility and help open up those splits so that way when we are not doing the normal splits we can still have a nice strong split in the air. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side as always three times pulling the knee into the chest, bending and flexing, trying to keep the knee in place, straightening out, doing resistance stretching and pulling it back in. I messed up on that first one though, <laughs> don't mind that. But then we're going to go ahead and do it again, three times in total. After that, we're going to open up into a middle split. We're really going to get into the splits today. Um, we're gonna do some beats, crossing and then opening. I'm flexing my feet on the way down, pointing them up, flexing them down. Then we're going to go into another round of splits just for good measure, really opening up, engaging that active flexibility in both the top and bottom leg. And then we're just gonna switch back and forth three times, really focusing on that active flexibility. Next, we're just gonna do some hip rotation. So we're just gonna draw a big half circle with our leg and open up those hips. We're gonna go three times in both directions. After that, we're just going to open up into a butterfly and bounce those knees a bit and just breathe into our hips and focus on opening those hips. Now we're going to go out into our first straddle of the day. We're gonna start with getting rid of those micro bends just by straightening out our legs while our feet are pointed and then pancaking down. 
in this episode we really we're gonna do our middle splits multiple times so we really want to focus on bringing our lower stomach to the ground not so much our head and hands but really focusing on rolling into those middle splits getting the stomach to the ground before anything else and then we're just going to take the time to hold this for a good amount of time Next, we're going to focus on getting rid of those micro bends again, this time by flexing our feet and straightening them out, doing multiple of those. And then we can even bend and flex at the same time just to really get into those muscles. After that, we're going to rock in our splits. And then we're going to go ahead and move into our front splits. I'm starting with my bad side first, or my less flexible side, I should say, because I always favor the other side. Sometimes it's better to start with your, your less flexible side so you put more work into it. You, you always naturally put more work into the first leg. So we are in our front split and we are going to open up into our middle split and do some, some um, hip openers. So now we're back in our straddle. Our hips should be much more open and warm and we're going to go ahead and slide into our first middle split of the day. So we wanna make sure our hips are in line with our knees and our ankles. And we're just going to hold for a long time. This is always the awkward part for me. I love filming these in public cause they're more pretty, but it is kind of funny to just hold middle splits in public for a good amount of time. Anyways, we're going back into a pancake stretch, this time really focusing even more on bringing that stomach down towards the ground and just focusing on that connection there. We can then go ahead and rock it out just a bit. Um, we're gonna put our one of our legs on top of the other and focus on pulling it in so that we're stretching the outside of the leg, trying to stay on our tailbone, keeping our back straight instead of slouching into it. This will get a deeper stretch. This video is already eight minutes, so I decided to end it, but I have a part two coming up. I recommend go doing this one and going straight into the part two. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time for the next one.